Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mongoli Show. Today we're going to be talking about the new arena meta with the Annihilators out, but unfortunately I don't have Thanos, so I've been getting beaten up in the arena until just recently where my alliance leader, shout out to Shirulian, showed me a new team composition that has been working brilliantly with me. And with his permission, I want to show it to you guys so you can start climbing the ranks again, even if you don't have the full Annihilators team. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the team that I've been using. We're using Nick Fury, Kestrel, Apocalypse, Super Scroll, and Gladiator. Now you can see that I'm in the top 10 again, and I still have one attack left, so I can climb a little bit higher. We do have seven Mephistos in my shard, so I'm not really gonna be able to touch them, but I do still have some wiggle room before payout goes, so that feels pretty good. We should be able to make it into the top 10 and stay there. Now, as far as the numbers for this team goes, you can see that my Nick Fury is really small and that doesn't matter at all. He's literally just here to give Kestrel a little bit of a bump and a little bit of a speed boost. So you want to go with the Nick Fury special right away. He's going to be the first person on your team that goes to give that boost out. And then on your Kestrel turn, you're going to use her ultimate on Gladiator to try and get him a little bit lower because we want him at less than 50% so that when Apocalypse goes, he gets to do his Awakened Falcon punch and murder something. So... Uh, Nick Fury is here. He's not all that big. He doesn't really need to be. Kestrel, I've got at 600,000 points with two diamonds on her. My Apocalypse has three diamonds and th uh, three purple ISO, so he's as high as he can possibly be. Uh, Super Scroll, seven red stars. He's pretty big. He's got one purple ISO, I think. And then my Gladiator is only four stars. He's not that big yet. They are red stars, so that does help. But you can see this team isn't massive coming in at just under 3 million power, but it is big enough to get the job done, at least in my arena shard, hopefully in your arena shard as well. Let's get into a couple of fights and see how this team works and what kind of teams they do work against. All right, so the first team that we're going to try against is this full annihilation team. Now, they don't have Silver Surfer because they're not suicidal, so they do have Apocalypse in his place. Let's see if we can make this happen, and we'll kind of go from there. Now, again, the team composition is going to be Nick Fury, Kestrel, Apocalypse, Super Scroll, and gladiator you can see that i've got a power of 2.9 let's go back one quick second uh and yes we are right around the same power level within 100,000, so that's totally reasonable let's jump in and we can see if we can make this happen all right so the first thing is we're going to be stuck behind the taunt coming from him but that's fine we're going to go with the special here to speed up our team a little bit and this should allow kestrel to go now for kestrel we want to do the ultimate here and Essentially, we just want to get this guy down below 50% as fast as humanly possible so that we can start doing other things because we want our Apocalypse, when he gets his ultimate, to actually have his ultimate go off so that we can do the double tap. Now, you can see Gladiator's gone, which actually helps us immensely. We're going to aim at... I'm going to go for their Ultimus here because we don't want them to kill our Gladiator. And we'll be able to get the double tap because he does have the Vulnerable and we should be able to get the uh, Awakened ability off because there's no more gladiator there to stop us. Which is perfect. He's stunned. Let's go for their... Actually, let's go for their gore. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can just kill him in one hit. Beautiful. All right, so they're down two team members, and one is dazed. This is looking actually really good for us. It's kind of doing exactly what we want it to do. We still have all five of our members. Not that, you know, Fury is all that important after that first turn, but still nice to have. If we attack Thanos here, that should kill the guy in the background. Again, we don't really want him to take out our Gladiator if we can help it. All right, then there was two. Looking pretty good. I wish our Apocalypse wasn't dazed, but so be it. And just Apocalypse is left. He is still a threat unto himself, but because our guy is healthy, he's not going to be able to get his Awakened ability off, and I think we're just going to kill him before he has a chance to go anyways. So that looks like it works really, really well against essentially the entire Annihilators team. Let's try it against something else. All right, so knowing that that works with the full Annihilation team, let's try spicing it up a little bit. We've now got a Super Scrawl with seven red stars and a three, poc three diamond apocalypse. Again, right around the same power level as we are. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, so we're going to go with the exact same game plan. We're going to do the speed up. We're going to go with her to do the ultimate. And that pretty much already gets him to nicely halfway. We are just going to tag him again here just to make sure make sure it sticks. And he's just dead, so that's perfect for us. Now, the fact that Super Scroll has the vulnerable on him is actually great for us. It means we can get the double tap in with him as well as we should get the awakened abilities. So Super Scroll is a good chance to just die before he even gets a chance to go. 
He is stunned, so worst case scenario, there's that. But the fact that he's dead is just that much better for us. All right, after that, I think because Gore's already gone, we're going to go straight into Thanos. And Gore should probably just die. Well, there we go. I was going to say, probably just Gore will die randomly while we attack Thanos and prove my point perfectly. All right, um, now we do have the uh, vulnerable on Thanos... On Apocalypse, so I'm going to go for him, but otherwise I probably would go for Thanos if the Vulnerable wasn't here. And there we go. Now we're down to just one character. This actually kind of worked faster, assuming that you can get rid of this Thanos quickly, which I think this should do. All right, not quite there, but this should do it. Perfect. So there we go. Two different team compositions, and this worked beautifully. Let's try throwing an old man Logan into the mix and see if that messes this up at all. Oh, hey, really quickly, I just want to talk to you guys. On October the 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be hosting my second annual anniversary bash. Now, that's my first anniversary on Twitch, my second anniversary on YouTube, and my 42nd anniversary on this planet. So we're going to be hosting a charity event for the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. So come on over, bring your wallets, support the good cause. None of this money is going to me. It's entirely going to charity. It's going to be a four-hour stream, but the more you donate, the longer the stream is going to go on for, up to a maximum of 24 hours. So if you want to come over, hang out, whatever, that's going to be at twitch.tv slash The Monguli Show. I don't think it's going to be on YouTube or at least not as it's airing live. We'll see. As of right now, though, it will be on twitch.tv. So head over there and hit the follow button if you want to check that out. I promise you, you do. There's going to be a lot of shenanigans, a lot of fun times. Come on over, support a good cause, hang out with me, all good stuff. Back to the match. All right, you can see we did manage to find an old man, Logan. He's got a Super Scroll and an Apocalypse with him, as well as a Gore and a Galactus. We're going to see how this goes with the exact same team composition. I'm hoping this is going to work. We've got 12 minutes left till reset, so hopefully this matters and we can get back into the top 20. All right, so same thing as before. We're going to go with our Fury. We're going to speed up. Should lead into a Kestrel with an Ultimate. And then Super Scroll. So all of this is so far going according to the plan. Does Gladiator fall? Don't freeze, computer. You got this. Perfect. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, we do have the bonus part on Old Man Logan, so we'll just try and get rid of him right away. Do the double tap and then punch him. And that should be the end of that. So I can't see a good reason why this won't work out as same as before. Uh, I guess we do have a fully healthy Super Skull that we need to worry about. But other than that, looking like it's going to be a pretty easy cleanup. Gore's almost gone. We might just grab him, just get rid of him. Uh, although I feel like Apocalypse is just the better target here. Hit Super Scrawl as well, which is great for us. And then... Is that the end of Apocalypse? That's the end of Apocalypse. Just the Super Scrawl is left. I think we're in phenomenal shape here. Clearly, this does work really well, even with the Old Man Logan variant. Really didn't change the math or meta at all. So... I mean, if anything, Super Scroll is just going to take a little bit longer, but I don't imagine he's going to be able to do too much to really hinder us at this point. Although he is still shockingly healthy. It'd be nice if we could just, like, get him down a little bit. There we go. And dead? Not quite. Come on, Super Scroll, you got this. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right, this counter seems to be working out very well for me, at least at the level that I'm at. Let me know how it's working out for you at the level you're at, and if you're able to do massive punch-ups, you're able to kill Old Man Logan, maybe you tried this against Mephisto, or if you've got Mephisto, maybe you're using this to progress even higher in your arena shards. I'd love to know how it's working out for you, but for me, I'd say this is a massive win as I am now finally back into the top 10, which feels pretty good. We recorded this live over at twitch.tv slash the Mongoolie show. So if you want to head over there and hit the follow button, you'll know when we go live and you can join the conversation and just hang out with me while we record videos like this or do stupid stuff. If you made it this far in the video, you probably enjoyed it. Consider hitting that like button as it does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you want more great content like this, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be good for both of us. Until next time, commanders, I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. And good luck to you.